Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be showing you today a fabulous plate that has been very kindly sent to me from Lady Queen for review. Um, I will be showing you the other two but I've put them uh, face down because if you want to see the uh, plates that I have been sent you're going to have to come back and watch my swatch videos. So as always I'll leave links to everything and details in the description box below. It took me a while to find out the code on these plates but you can see here it's JQL13. So you have lots of different cute images, a lot of this save the date, like romantic candles and things like that. Okay, just move you down to the other half of the plate, which I absolutely love. I love all these type of images, this very vintage feel. That mannequin there is stunning. Okay, so there is no backing to this and the edges are sharp, so just be careful. Um, I mean, I haven't got cut using it, but just be very careful when you're handling it. And also as well, be very careful when you are taking the blue wrapper off because it does bend. So I kind of hold it down and push it back like so. Okay, so I'm showing this because I don't know whether it came like it or whether I did it like trying to pull the uh, wrapper off, but it did bend. So just be really, really careful. So the size of the plate is 12 centimeters long, uh, sorry, wide by six centimeters long. And like these bigger images here are about two centimeters. This one here is three centimeters. So you're gonna have to have really long nails to get all that on. But generally the, the smaller items are about one and a half centimeters. So I'm using my fabulous Marianne nail stamper. And these are the polishes that I am using, <laughs> oops. Okay, so you've got black in black and snowed in. So I'm just gonna get straight into the swatches for you guys. Because there's like images all over the place, um, I'm kinda just gonna take snippets off it, like so. So I think that image there with the birds, you could like put over like four of your nails. And if you had like a letter stamping plate, maybe you could put like a little message on the banner. Um, so I think there's lots of like potential with this plate. And that look close up looks really nice. Like from far away, it looks like you've got black splodges on your nails, but close up, you can really see the really nice details. So I'll just get this right in here. I always like to test the writing because it's generally, it can be a tricky part of the plate to pick up. So that there is a bit skew if, but that's probably down to me. So I uh, did the same image again. And I just moved it down the nail a bit more because it is a bit more curved at the top of these pop sticks. So you can see that that has swatched much better. So I'm just going to take a variety of the images um, off of the plate and just sort of move along. Again, this image here is probably one that you could spread over the nails, but I kind of just went down the middle. So you can see that I, um, seriously, I'm not having any issues picking these images up. They are picking up real easy, real crisp as well. And for some reason, I don't know why, I just thought maybe I'd have a bit of issues with it and I'd struggle, but seriously, um, they pick up amazingly. Very, very um, easy to work with. How cool does that look? It looks proper, like almost like a hollow mirror. <gasps> That'd be so cool. I'd love to have a hollow mirror. I'd be really vain, I'd just be looking at it all day. <laughs> So I'm going to get these candle images, candlestick images here. So I did it on this light green uh, glitter and I don't know, I just didn't like it. So I put it on a darker one. I thought it stood out much better. What do you think? I'm going to get this cute little clock thing as well. And again, has picked up everything really, really good. So 
So I'm really, really impressed with how that's picked up because obviously there's lots of fine lines going on there. So I'm going to get as much of it on my nail as possible. And as you can see, it's stamped amazingly well. I have got ideas forming in my head as to what to do with this image. So here are all the swatches all together. I absolutely love this plate. I hope my jelly babes love it too. I definitely prefer like this half of the plate just because I love sort of vintage images. Not that there's anything wrong with this side of the plate. It is still beautiful. But yeah, I'm a sucker for vintage. So if you like this plate, uh, it's well worth the money. Uh, you're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.